The Lottie Moon Christmas offering for foreign missions has always been very important to my husband Marion and me. But the fact that that offering is taken up at Christmas time makes it difficult for us to give what we'd really like to. So we were very excited when First Baptist Spartanburg offered that we could give to Lottie Moon and to other mission partners on a month by month basis. Spreading this offering out over the year enables us to give so much more than we ever could in just December. There's another benefit. As we give each month to the Global Missions Offering, it helps us keep focused on missions all year long. Hi, my name is Gregorio Castillo, and I'm a church planter here in Spartanburg of La, La Reunión, the Gathering in Spanish. And we have had a partnership with First Baptist Spartanburg for a very long time. As of this year, we were on the top 10 churches that baptized more people on on 2016. And all of this is thanks to the cooperation of our brothers and sisters here in First Baptist Spartanburg. Hello, my name is Enrique Pascual. Everything started in my family with our daughter Karina when she was eight years old. At that time, she started going to the church and invited her two brothers. Later on, Karina invited uh, her mother and myself and my other son. And I give thanks to God because God transformed my whole family. You've just heard two testimonies about the Global Missions Offering. You've heard the, the giving part and the receiving part. And I wonder if you know what this little envelope is, because that is how you give to the Global Missions Offering. What I would encourage you to do is give above and beyond your tithe to that offering, because believe me, the money that we give goes to so much. The bulk of it, of course, goes to the Lottie Moon Christmas Offering, the National Association of Missions Board and the State Board. But a lot of that money goes also to many programs. Did you know our mission team is involved in over 50 different projects, programs that the offerings go to? Things like we have the church planning that Greg just told you about here in town. We also have a church planning all the way up in Canada. And we've got so many other things. We've got missionaries all out of our church that are spread all over the world that we're helping with their support. We've got a lot of partnerships that we do here in town, things you know about. And of course, we've got Green Street that we give to. So many things that we can do. So let me ask you this. I want you to prayerfully consider giving a little extra into that offering, because I'll make you two promises. The first is that you will not outgive God. And the second promise is that when you take that envelope, take it by the missions office, and when you walk in, ask them, hey, how can I help? I tell you, you'll go in there thinking you're going to bless other people. But believe me, you will be the one blessed. I am a testimony of that. There are so many others in this church that are taking testify to that same fact. It's scripturally based, and I promise you, you will be blessed. <laughs>